when people think of colors, they usually think of types of light. There's red light that looks red and yellow light that looks yellow, but it's not always that simple. For example, there's no such thing as brown light. I want you to do an experiment with me. I promise it's simple, but it might give you a new understanding of what colors are. Grab your phone and pull up a photo of something brown. If you're watching this on your phone, you can just use this screen. Make your screen as bright as you can, then make a fist and hold it up to your eye so you block out all the light. Keep your other eye closed. Now loosen your fist just enough that you can see a pinprick of light through it, and look at the brown thing through that hole. Does it still look brown? If you're having trouble blocking out light properly with your fist, it might help to go into a dark room. But if you do it right, the brown thing should look like a dim red or yellow. What's happening here? Is the color actually changing? This image here is a really good demonstration of what's going on. This square looks brown, and this one looks orange, right? But if you isolate them, they're actually giving off the same orangey light. What's going on here is that your brain isn't simply trying to figure out the type of light that's coming from the image. It's doing something harder, trying to figure out the properties of the objects in it. Because this square up here looks like it's being brightly lit, the dull orange light coming from it tells your brain that it's not very reflective. You see it as a dark brown. But that same dull orange light coming from a shaded surface down here tells your brain that this square does actually reflect a lot of light. If it were brightly lit instead of being in shadow, it would be even brighter than these yellow and white squares down here. So you see it as a bright orange. Your brain isn't wrong in seeing the same light as coming from two different colors. The same light actually tells you different things about each surface, depending on how they're being lit up. So it turns out that perceiving color is not so much about categorizing types of light, but about categorizing types of objects and how they interact with light. When something looks brown, it's not because brown light is coming from it. It's because it looks like the kind of surface that would reflect a dimmer orange light than most of the things around it. Because of this, if you take something brown and make it appear to be reflecting more light than the things around it, it won't look brown anymore. It'll just look kind of orangey. This might still seem a little crazy, but there are actually lots of colors like this that we just don't think of as so categorically different as orange and brown. For example, mustard yellow or navy blue. These are basically just dark yellow and dark blue. And just like brown, they don't exist as particular kinds of light. It doesn't really make sense to talk about a dark blue light unless there are brighter lights around it for context. And if you take a dark blue light into a dark room, it's just going to look blue. In the same way, things look brown because they're a dimmer shade of orangey than the objects around them. And if they were giving off that same orangey light in a dark room, they just look orangey. And that's exactly what you saw with your phone. So the upshot of this is that there's no such thing as brown light. There are only brown objects. And a brown object can never be the brightest thing in a room.